Hello, and welcome back. I haven't done a video like this in a while, and by like this, I mean sitting here in front of a camera. But inspiration struck me, as it often does at the dead of night. It's almost 11 p.m. I got this idea because I was, you know, scrolling through YouTube earlier, and I saw a video by Quite where he covered this channel called Life Lessons with Lewis, or Luis, I'm not entirely sure on how it's pronounced, but, um... If you've ever heard of Darman, which I'm sure you have if you've been on the internet for any amount of time in the past, like, half year or so, uh, this channel is kind of like Darman, except whereas Darman tries to teach a lesson in his videos, um, Lewis slash Luis also does that, but it's very unclear what lesson he's trying to teach. So I'm just gonna comment on, or like talk about one of the videos that first caught my eye when I checked this channel and it's called Teenager Ditches School and Gets Kidnapped, which that's already a lot to deal with. That's already a lot to take in. So let's just see, you know, what what happens here. What lesson, what life lesson is Louis slash Luis trying to teach us here? Let's see if we can figure that out. Hello, did you hear me? It's, it's, it's rude to ignore people. I asked, do you have a boyfriend? Can you pull over? Why? We're talking here. So we're starting off very strong. This girl's in a car with this man who's asking if she has a boyfriend. And he sounds like... I don't know how else to put this. He kind of sounds like a stereotypical fuckboy. Like, do you have a boyfriend? Like, it sounds like he's... It sounds like he's doing that. And I don't mean that in a good way. It's a very- it feels very overacted, which I guess I, I shouldn't be surprised considering what kind of video this is. I said, can you pull over? Pull over the car, let me out! Pull over! Now we've rewound, and I'm assuming we're going to learn how she ended up in this situation in the first place, and judging by the title, I'm gonna guess she wound up here because she ditched school. No other possible reason. It's not because someone kidnapped her. It's because she ditched school. Hey, Dad. How was work? All right. What's going on here? Is that perfume? Oh, well, I just, I know how hard you have it at work, so I thought I would clean up before you got back. So I'm a little confused. Dad comes home from work, and she's cleaning the kitchen sink, if I'm seeing this right, and he's like, is that perfume? My guy, what do you think perfume smells like? I've never seen anyone walking around and like walk past someone and smell their perfume and been like, hmm, this smells like kitchen cleaning supplies. <laughs> She's got the Clorox perfume on. That's what he's used to smelling. It's like, she just wakes up in the morning and sprays herself with OxyClean and is like, I'm ready for the day. That's why he's- that's why he thinks she's wearing perfume is because that's what her perfume smells like. Because she's not actually wearing perfume, she just sprays herself with OxyClean. So, Dad. No. No what? No to whatever it is you're gonna ask me. How do you know I was gonna ask you something? Because the place is really clean and you're being nice to me. I'm always like this. So what? I can't be nice? So you weren't gonna ask me to go anywhere? Well... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No. I have never once had an interaction with this, like this, with my parents. This has never happened to me. <laughs> but I have heard this as like a typical parent thing. Like knowing when your kid's about to ask for something because they were suddenly doing really nice things around the house. I don't know. I just felt like I would mention that this doesn't feel like a real conversation that people would have. This this feels too much like a script. Whoever wrote this doesn't know how real people talk. You never let me go anywhere. Where is it you want to go? Well, a group of friends are going to Disneyland this weekend, and my friend Christina- Who's in this group of friends? Dean and her older sister, Sarah. I'm not hearing any adult names here. Any parents involved in this group? Well, Sarah's 16, so she'll be in charge. My guy, the oldest person in this group of people who are going to Disneyland for a whole weekend is 16? That's not an adult. 
how old is she supposed to be? How old is this daughter main character supposed to be? Is she like supposed to be around the same age? Because she's talking about the 16 year old as if she's like the oldest in the group. So that makes me think she's younger than 16. No wonder her dad's not letting her go anywhere. She's still a literal child. <laughs> she is a kid. She shouldn't be going anywhere. No way. Why not? I'm 15. I'll be 16 in two weeks. Okay, well, there it is. She's 15. There's that question answered for me, I guess. 16 in two weeks. Definitely fully grown up. I was definitely fully grown at 16. 100%. Just not comfortable with no adult supervision. And there's crazy people out there. My friend's parents let them go and they're fine. I'm not your friend's parents. We haven't been the same since mom died. Why would you say that? <laughs> Why, why would you say that to your father? <laughs> you're in a situation where you're asking to go somewhere that your father is understandably worried about you going and, and he won't let you. And you're just like, you haven't been the same since mom died. Why would you say that? That's an awful thing to say to your father. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my God. What did you say? I said... You never let me leave the house since mom passed away. I'm not a kid any- No, you are still a kid. You are still a child. As someone who is barely even a few years older than you, you are still a child. How dare you play the mom card? Go to your room. You can't keep me locked away forever. Get your ass to your room. I just really like that they censored the word ass. Like someone wrote this, wrote that word in the script, and then when the actor actually said it, they had to like take it out and censor the entire word in the subtitles. I just think that's really funny. I should not find this funny. I should not find this funny. He's probably like looking at a photo of his dead wife and just crying over it. I should not find this funny. I should not be laughing at this. I'm so sorry. What are you doing in here? Dad, my God, you scared me. Why are you in mom's restroom? And why are you wearing her makeup? Nobody's using it. I thought I could try it on and be like her. Wipe that stuff off your face and get ready for bed. You're not allowed to use your dead mom's makeup. What if she rises up from the grave and comes home and wants to use it? <laughs> Only I can use my dead wife's makeup. <laughs> she's my mom too. She's my mom too. She may be your mom, but she's also my mom. He never lets me out, I swear. I feel like Rapunzel walked away in my room all day. Why don't you just, like, do what I do and sneak out? No, I couldn't do that. I think grounded for life. Where would I go anyway? Anywhere away from him. He's not like a nightmare at all. Why not let's go out whenever I want? What do you mean, like, during school? Honey, you busy? Is that a YouTube play button on the wall? Did they just have to, like, casually slip that in? I couldn't read it very well because like the video is pretty dark at this point, but it's just, just, just like a casual flex. Like, by the way, I have a YouTube play button. I'm going to put it on the wall in this scene. Very unnecessary, but also very funny for no reason. I'm sorry I got upset with you earlier. Ever since your mother died, I haven't been the same. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think of her. It was the toughest thing that ever happened to me in my life. And if anything were to happen to you, I, I couldn't handle it. And I know it doesn't seem fair, but once you turn 18, you'll be able to do whatever you want, whenever you want. 18? Dad, that's not fair. Dad, that's not fair. By 18, you're a legal adult, so there's not much he would be able to do to stop you from doing anything. But also, I'm older than 18, and I still feel like I couldn't go anywhere without asking my parents' permission. <laughs> not that they would stop me, but one, I don't even have a driver's license, so it's not like I could go many places on my own. And two, I just wouldn't want to. <laughs> I'd be terrified to go to the grocery store without my mom. <laughs> If I even could go to the grocery store in the first place, I'd, I'd be terrified to go alone for no good reason. So 18, that's not fair. 
Ma'am, ma'am, just, just stop. And it's not fair that we lost your mother either. But anyway, the reason I'm here is I never want to go to bed angry with each other. And I just wanted to say good night and I love you. That was like the most insincere good night and I love you I have ever heard from anyone. He like, he didn't even try to make that sound genuine. It's just like, good night, and I love you. There's like, there's, there's so much. He said he didn't want to go to bed angry, but he very clearly still sounded angry when he said that. Hey, let's ditch tomorrow and go to the mall or something. Yeah, let's, let's ditch tomorrow after all. Hey, we good? Okay. Have a nice day at school, honey. Be safe. I don't like that emoji. <laughs> I've never seen, not that I text many people in the first place, but I've never seen anyone actually use that emoji in a text message in real life. <laughs> Meet at the mall. <laughs> That's... That emoji doesn't fit that message at all. What are you doing? Who is this? Where's her friend that she was planning to ditch with? Like, she was on the phone with someone earlier and it sounded like they were going to go together to ditch school. Why is she completely by herself all of a sudden? Where did her friend go? Hey, where are you? I just missed my bus. You're fine. Just catch the next one. No, no, I can't. My dad's picking me up from school at 3.30. If I'm not there, I'm screwed. You'll be fine. No, you don't understand. My dad is extremely strict. If I'm not there on time, he'll kill me. She's... Okay. The problem she's seeing, if she's not back at school by 3.30 for her dad to pick her up, she's in trouble. But she has all these bags of things that she bought from her shopping spree when she ditched school. Does she think he's not gonna see those? He's going to see those. You don't have anywhere to hide them. You bought like a bunch of clothes and like shoes and stuff. You went to see a movie. You're not going to be able to hide all the things you bought from your dad. He's going to find out. I can give you a ride. Excuse me? Oh, I mean, only if you want. Uh, I heard you talking to your friend and I thought I could help out. I was a teenager once. I, I know what it's like. Come on. Um, I'll let you sit up front if you like. This man has like every red flag in the books. This man is a walking red flag. The only way he could be an even more obvious red flag if he was actually made of cloth and painted red. He seems like he's on drugs. He was just listening to this teenage girl's conversation on her phone with her friend and he was way too eager to offer to give her a ride. Do not trust this man. This is not someone that you should trust. Definitely not someone you should get into the front seat of a car with. This this man has probably buried more than a couple bodies somewhere. So anyway, when my brother moved out, I, I just became self-employed. I mean, you know, why work for somebody else when you can be your own boss, right? I just wish I had this mentality when I was younger because, well, I wouldn't have had the heartache of making the mistakes of doing all the things wrong like I did. Did you hear me? Huh? I said, how old are you? Uh, 16. I think that was my turn. We just passed. What? I said, I think we just passed. My what? Turn. Okay, so he asked for her age. Already a, a weird thing to do. And if he was listening to her conversation earlier, he probably could have guessed that she was like in high school or a minor. So, and then and he missed the turn. If she's not suspicious by now, which I'm pretty sure she is, then, I mean, she should have been suspicious in the first place. Alternatively, this guy shouldn't have been just standing around offering to give a ride to a 16-year-old girl. That's, that's a very creepy thing to do. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Hello, did you hear me? It's, it's, it's rude to ignore people. I asked, do you have a boyfriend? Can you pull over? Why? We're talking here. I said, can you pull over? 
Pull over the car. Let me out. Pull over the car. Okay, all right, all right, relax. I'm pulling over. Gosh. I'm pulling over. Gosh. I was trying to kidnap you, but I guess I can't if you really want me to pull over that bad. Gosh. So hard to kidnap teenagers nowadays. They always want you to pull over the car, and they're always saying, where are you taking me? And please let me call my parents. Gosh. <laughs> I just realized she no longer has any of the bags of stuff that she like bought when she went to the mall so I'm forced to assume that she left them in that dude's car which is a convenient way to keep her dad from finding out that she went to the mall unless she tells him which I wouldn't know because I haven't seen the rest of the video yet but either I meant to assume that she left them in the car or they just you know poofed out of existence which who am I to question that really well what's wrong you seem out of breath no no I was just Dad, um, I'm sorry about how I've been acting lately. I, I know you're just trying to look out for me, and I'll be sure to take your advice from now on. Interesting. I was just going to ask you if you and your friends wanted to go to Disneyland for the weekend, but only if I get to chaperone. So here's the summary of this conversation, and obviously this isn't exactly what was said, but we can infer. Dad... I thought you were overbearing and full of shit, but now that I almost got kidnapped on my way back home from the mall, which I ditched school to go to, I realize, you know, maybe you have a point. Wow, daughter. That is so convenient, because I was just about to ask to chaperone your trip to Disneyland. I don't know why the dad sounds like that in my mind, but that's what he sounds like. I think it's really important you spend time with your friends while you're young, but I also want you to be safe. I agree, Dad. Come on, let's get out of here. All right. So she didn't get kidnapped. Necessarily. She almost did. She got, in, she got into a car with a creepy dude who offered to give her a ride, who then pulled over the car when she told him to enough times. If he was trying to kidnap her, he's not a very good kidnapper. So that's the end of the video. After that, it just goes into like a, an after message from Louis slash Luis. Still don't know how to say that name. Um, interesting. <laughs> very interesting. That's the first word that comes to mind when I think of this video. I don't know what lesson this was trying to teach. Uh, don't ditch school. I feel like there's better ways to give that message. Listen to your parents. Also, probably better ways to portray that message. Any message I can think of that this video was trying to get across could be done in numerous other better, less strange ways. So I'm just going to stop trying to figure out what the message was. It's basically a waste of time. But thank you for watching. This is the first time I've done a video like this. Um, it was very difficult to figure out how to set it up. But now that I figured it out, if I ever want to do it again, you know, I can do it again. So let me know if that's like something you'd want to see sometime. But that's all for me. I'm not going to draw this outro any longer than I have to, which I tend to normally do. But that's all. See you later. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Drink some water. Bye.